Welcome. In this video, I'll go over game setup and do a solo playthrough of Mutants the Card Game. So jumping right into setup, we have our main board, our player board, and the player board for our boss out here. The main board is going to track the health of our boss going down, the number of the rounds, victory points we can possibly gain, and when we gain victory points, we'll do damage to the boss. We're crushing the competition in the lower right hand corner. That tells us how much damage we'll do, or if we're being crushed by the boss, how much health it will gain. We've got our power track, so at the top in the dread zone. So we'll be crushing each other if one of us has a marker here and the other one of us is down in these last three areas. And you'll see that closer in play here shortly. Our player board's very similar to the boss. We're going to have a gene pool where we're creating. Advanced Mutants, where our Active Mutant is, when we move them to the side and our discard area, our deck, our freezer, and then an incubator area, and a quick review of what the turn se sequence is like. So we'll gain BP if we're crushing the competition, move our Active Mutant to the left or right side, and then take one of these actions. And the main actions we can take is deploy. So we'll play one mutant from our hand into the active mutant spot. We can breed or discard two cards and deploy mutant with matching genes from the gene pool into the active spot. And lastly, incubate. Discard one card to place one mutant from our gene pool in our incubator. And at the end of the round, we can place this card on top of our deck. Then on the back of our Turn sequence guide, we have some iconography, and all that will make sense once we get into gameplay. So for our boss, we're gonna take on the Singularity Wizard. So he's gonna come in with 40 health on him. So we'll go ahead and take a marker and put that over here. For setup, shuffle all the Singularity Wizard cards to form the boss deck, place that deck in the boss area. So we've got all his stack of cards here. Give that a shuffle. Put that over here. Then flip our card over for our special powers, which tells us the Singularity Wizard doesn't have any special power. So this is probably the easier boss we have. And for setting our side up, we're gonna take two each of all the basic mutants. So we're gonna have two aliens, two beasts, two demons, two robots, two warriors, and two zombies to form our deck. But our starting hand size is gonna be one of each of these mutants. So we're gonna start with a hand size of six and then take the rest and shuffle to form our deck. And for creating our gene pool, we can go through our stack of advanced mutants and choose 12. I'm just gonna make it easy and go with two big bosses, two Captain Wrench Furies, two Dracus Nobulus, two Colossus, two Neo Urban 13s, and two Tressera tanks. The rest will be removed from the game for now. So just going over the mutant cards. Up here we have the gene types. So what we need to either have in our gene pool to recruit them or what they'll put in our gene pool so we can recruit. Of course, a name, how many victory points we get when freezing them, which will do damage to the main boss here, their deployability and their leave ability. So for instance, this one, when he comes in, is gonna attack. And when he leaves, we're gonna gain a power on the track and draw a card and discard a card. So the basic icons. It's kind of a gold shield with a positive number. We'll gain X power on the power track. And the red shield with a negative says we're gonna lose power on the power track. Deployability, leave ability, attacking our opponent. If we have this, we've got block, so triggers when attacked and cancels an attack fact, as long as that attack targets something. Uh, cycle, draw X cards, then discard X cards. Or transform, this mutant leaves, then deploy the top card of your deck. Then we have an ongoing ability. As long as this mutant is in play, this ability is active. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards up. 
and we've got three stacks here for our gene pool. So we're gonna get four in each stack. And the top one will go face up. And we have the option for a mulligan. So since we have two of the same one here, I'll just go ahead and do a mulligan, put this on the bottom of the stack and bring out another one. And we can do that for each stack, but I'll go ahead and keep that as is. Choose a red token for herself. We'll put that in the second space. And as you can see, I'm already using blue for the boss and that will go behind us. And then we've got a tracker for the round, starting with round one. So with everything set up, our goal is to defeat the boss in five rounds. We do that by gaining victory points, which is gonna reduce its health. When this gets to zero, we will win immediately. And of course, if we don't get this to zero, by the time we finish the fifth round, we lose. Game flow is still very similar to the standard multiplayer battles. So beginning of return, you're gonna see if we're crushing the competition. So if we have a marker here and our boss is in the last three spots, we're gonna crush them and do damage equal to the number in the lower right-hand corner. And if it's vice versa on his turn, he will gain health equal to that number. Then we'll move our active mutant to one of the sides and then take one of our three possible actions. And the boss, very similar, checking to see if it's crushing, push an active card, and play a card. And the round will end as soon as we have zero cards in hand. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, the boss is always gonna go first and we will always end the round. So first card to come and play, it's gonna be an Entropic Crush. So this is a weakness. If we freeze an advanced mutant, we'll shatter this, doing one damage to the boss and removing this card from play. And of course, the first item we do on whether it's the boss turn or our turn is check to see if we're crushing the competition. But until that matters, I'm not gonna keep doing that. We don't have any active mutants to move. So we're gonna spend, drop these two cards to reserve these two genes to recruit a Tracera tank. And when it comes into play, we're gonna go up two on the power track. So we'll go up one there. Since we can't go up another one, we'll push the other one back one. Then we will draw a card and discard a card. So drawing a warrior, and we'll go ahead and discard that warrior. And flip up the next card, which is gonna be a big boss. Then back to the wizard. Since the arrow is pointing to the left, it's gonna move over to the left slot. Bring in another card, Particle Isolation. So another weakness, if we gain power while we have Fury, being at the top spot, we'll shatter this weakness. So hopefully we can do that on our turn. We'll move our tank over to the left and go ahead and play this from our hand, which is gonna move us up two on the track. So we're gaining power, we'll move this down two. We've done the weakness, which will do two damage to the boss, down to 38, and remove this card from the game. And back for the boss. So Heat Death, it's gonna have a block ability, so now when we attack, this card will lead play, and it'll get four power on the track. So we're gonna go ahead and trigger that. We'll spend these two resources to get the Colossus. But before that, we would have moved our mutant over to the side to make room for him. Each opponent knocks down the mutant in their left slot, which would target this one. So the block ability will come in. It's gonna lead play and move it up the track four. We'll reveal our other cards. We've got a Captain Wrench Fury. Then for the boss's turn, all mutants with a block ability are discarded without resolving their leave effects. We don't have any with the block ability, so that won't do anything. Then we'll move our Colossus over, making a zombie go away. And so when this card leaves, we may freeze it. So we'll do one damage down to 37, and that card is out of play for us. Move the Colossus over, and then play the demon from hand which has a block ability on it for us. Now we have zero cards in hand, so that will end the round. We'll score the power track since we're in the lead. We'll do four damage down to 33. We'll advance the round marker. 
If we had any cards in the incubator, we would put that on top of our deck. Then we draw six cards. And we only have five. So before reshuffling our discard pile, we freeze one mutant from here. Which I believe is gonna be our alien. So that's gonna do one more damage. Down to 32. We'll shuffle these. And then we'll draw one more card. So we've got zombie, robot, a beast, alien, a demon, and another beast. And then lastly, we will reset the power track. So the boss will go. This card goes to the right. New card coming in, escape velocity. So it's a weakness. Gain power while you have fury to shatter this weakness. So we can easily get that done. We'll have this leave play, moving us up three on the power track. So that's gonna be one and then two and three. It's gonna be moving it back which will shatter this card for two damage, down to 30, and remove it from the game. Move the demon over. We'll go ahead with playing the beast. Discard any two cards from our hand to gain a mutant from your gene pool to your hand. So we'll get rid of the alien and zombie. Pick up the captain. Flipping over to find another captain. Boss will go. Going up three on the power track with its supermassive black hole. One, two, three. We'll go ahead and have this one leave. Put this on top of our deck. Moving the beast on over. Then we'll play Captain Wrench Fury, which is gonna allow us to draw two cards and discard two cards. Getting our Tricera tank back and a warrior. And we'll discard the beast and demon. Black hole wants to go left. So this is gonna leave play, giving it three power. So one, two, three, bouncing us back. And then if we can knock down this card, we'll shatter this weakness. So we will have the beast leap play, moving us up two on the power track. Move that over. We'll discard these two to bring in the big boss. And each opponent knocks down their mutant that is in the same slot. Which triggers this weakness. So we'll do three damage down to 27 and remove this card from the game. Getting a Neo Urban 13. Then the boss plays. So knock down this card to shatter this weakness. So we have the captain leave. So each opponent knocks down their active mutant, which will take care of this weakness, doing three more damage. Down 27 to 24. Move the big boss over. Then we'll play our tank, moving us up two on the track, or blue down two. And we will draw a card and discard a card. So, hello warrior, goodbye warrior. And that will end the round. So scoring the track, we're winning. So five damage, down to 19. Advance the round marker. No incubation, so we'll draw six. We have one card. So we will freeze one of these. So we'll get rid of a robot for one more damage. Down to 18 and then shuffle and draw five. So that's gonna leave us with a zombie, robot, two warriors, a demon and a beast. And reset the track and the boss will go. So weakness coming out, freeze and advance mutant to shatter this weakness. We're gonna move the big boss out. So we're gonna go up one on the track, then draw a card and discard a card. Getting a beast. And we'll go ahead and just discard that one. 
Move the tank on over. Then we'll be discarding these two cards to bring in the Neo Urban 13. And when it comes into play, we're gonna go up on, on the power track, remove the blue back, and draw and discard a card. So getting an alien and discarding an alien. Next card, got a Dracus. So Lumen wants to go to the right, which is gonna trigger an attack, but we have a block card. So we'll prevent that attack and knock down this mutant, also giving us plus one on the power track, moving the wizard down one. Move that over, and new card is a block ability for them. So for us, we'll get rid of this card, no effect. Use our beast and demon to bring this card in, which is gonna advance us two on the track, or put the wizard down two. So now unless it does something, it is in the dread zone. So looming darkness is gonna leave, this is an attack, we have no defense. If you have a basic mutant in your hand, discard it. We have two basic warriors in hand, so we'll get rid of one. Next card in. Each time you gain power, the wizard will gain a power. So start of our turn, we are crushing the competition. So that will do three damage to the wizard, down to 15. We'll have this card leave. We may freeze the top card of your deck, which is the captain, so that's gonna do two damage. Down to 13. We'll move him over, and then use the warrior to go up two more. Now we'll end the round. We've won, doing six damage. So down to seven. We'll advance the track. No incubation, so drawing one. So we need to freeze a card here. We'll get rid of the demon for one. And shuffle and draw. Getting five more cards. Getting an alien, beast, another beast, warrior, or neo-urban, and a colossus. And then reset our track and move over to the boss. So this card wants to go to the left. So this will lead play, giving it plus two on the power track. New card coming in. Knock down your active mutant. So the warrior is down. So we'll move over to the right. This leaves play, giving us plus two. So we'll switch places. We'll discard these two cards with these three resources to bring in a captain. It's gonna let us draw two cards and discard two. So getting a robot and a demon. So we'll discard a beast and an alien. The gravity wells moving to the right. We're being attacked to lose two on the track. No defense. Our boss deck is empty, so we will shuffle. And new card. Got a weakness with the looming darkness. Freeze an advanced mutant to shatter this weakness. We will bring down the tank and put it on top of her deck. Move this card over, then play Colossus. So each opponent knocks down the mutant in their left slot. So we can get rid of this card. Then Looming Darkness moves to the right. We're being attacked to lose three. So one, two, three. Next card is a block ability. So with that, we'll go ahead and have this card come down. Move Colossus over. Need to see what that is. 
So we will spin these two, bring in the Dracus, moving us up two on the track. Then warp space time will move over. Doing an attack, if you have a basic mutant in your hand, discard it. We do, and it's our last card. And his next card, freeze an advanced mutant to shatter this weakness. So the round is over. The wizard won this one, so nothing happens on the scoring track. Advance the round marker. No incubation. So we'll get these three cards and freeze one of these. We'll go ahead and freeze this to do four damage. Down to two. That also shatters this weakness since it's an advanced mutant, so we'll do one more damage to it, down to one. And shuffle and draw three more cards. So we've got a beast, demon, another beast, the big boss, a zombie, and a Tricera tank. And reset our board. The last round, we need to do one more damage. Boss goes first. All mutants with block abilities are discarded without resolving their effect. We don't have any block abilities. And I do not believe that affects its own creatures. So we're gonna have Colossus leave play, which will get us three on the track. So one, two, three. Then we'll play the zombie from our hand, which will move us two up on the track. But the main reason is discardability. I wanna be able to freeze this this round for our one more damage. So two on the track. Gets us, also does get it down in the dread zone. So it's gonna to need to do something about that, which it is ready to do. So this is an attack, knocking us two down on here. New card coming in, it's gonna move it up three. That was a pretty good turn for the wizard. We'll have the captain come down, so we're gonna attack since they don't have any defenses now. Each opponent knocks down their active mutant. Turn the black hole upside down. Move our zombie on over. Put our tank in play, giving us plus two power and drawing and discarding a card. Warrior. Wizard goes, pushing this card off. Getting a block ability. We're gonna be able to do the one final damage, freezing this mutant as it leaves play. For one damage, taking the wizard down to zero for a victory for our mutants. So that is the basics of how to play mutants a card game in solo mode. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.